Okay. Move on to the class. We already told today morning continuation only we are continuing. Up to where I we discussed in the sense, we need to work with live readiness as well as liveness. First, we need to check readiness is working or not. See what is readiness, readiness pro. What is the use of readiness probe? Anyone can, can quickly. It is checking. Health check. Application. Health check. Good. Health check of an application. Of an application. If anything going wrong. If health is not good. If health is not good. Uh, what happens? Anyone tell me? Not good. What happens? What happens? It will, it will remove, it will remove from end point, from end point. What it will remove from end point? What it will remove? Anyone can? What it will remove? Their pod IPs. Pod IPs. It will remove from the it will remove from the end point. Or agree with me? Yes. Same thing. I need to implement. I need to implement. Good evening. Same thing. I need to implement. See the thing here. Now I'm going to their CLI. Now check it. In that CLI, where I'm going to mini cure. We need to first I'm going to stop observe. I think my font size is visible or I need to increase font size. Press font. Yeah, it's better to increase somewhat. Better to increase. Now right click. Going to properties. There I need to go Lucida console. Once you got selected Lucida console, you need to go with 28. Maybe it is good for you. Now okay, yes, here yeah. mini cube, mini cube stop, mini cube stop. Now someone is trying to join. My fourth one. Now good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Thank you. Now please observe, here see multi-node cluster is not able to manage liveness and readiness. This is the trial version, right? Trial version in the sense, industry not using only for learning purpose they developed. That's why this is the problem. Morning also same problem happened. That's why I may go with single node based. It will work. First we need to understand the concept of properly running the app. At the end, one or two sessions, I may go with EKS. They are configuring container networking interface. Now, quickly check it kubectl. kubectl get nodes. A node is running. Now, what to do? Any pods are running. I need to Remove that one, kubectl, kubectl delete or hyphen hyphen all. Now I am going to open my notepad. You know that there see notepad, notepad, line as right, line as right. Now morning only we discussed how many replicas I am going to add. For your clarity, only one replica I am taking. You can easily understand how many replicas I am taking only one now check it here in this i'm having readiness probe as well as liveness probe and srinath Gar, tell me the difference between readiness and liveness your words uh, 
readiness is uh, service is uh, when we start the service at that time it is uh, accessible to accessible time for uh, end user okay uh, any other way okay that is good assume uh, now what is lightness pro remote uh, readiness uh, remote end points uh, that means it is removed from the end points you are saying right it is removing from yes, the end yes. points is nothing but readiness uh, what what yes. about lightness pro it will take time no readiness so that okay. is the readiness ah, okay what next liveness probe it can start the container or pod will uh, restart, uh, restart the are, uh, we, see yes. when the application is not running what is the use of running pod are you understanding or not no use yeah got it or not yes yes see somewhere function is going their marriage function they are not uh, providing you know, snacks and something something Will you stay multiple hours there? No, right? There, oh. one, one area is going on. Maybe they are serving something. Another area, marriage function. There are many people may be there. In the same way, here also, here also, if readiness proof fails, what happens? We need to restart our container or pod. For that only, we need to go for liveness flow. Now, I am going to implement. Now, try to change here. See, see now try to understand everybody. See, this is the HTTP GET. HTTP GET in the sense, it will go and check the end user. That means on the browser, this path was there or not. I will show you with this port. With this path, with this port, application is running or not. If really running, it will take initial delay seconds. Initial delay seconds. It will only wait for 15 minutes for readiness. Step 1 is clear, right? What is the meaning of timeout seconds? I requested, I am the client, I requested, after requesting, I need to get a response, right? Within how many seconds I need to get a response? Within 5 seconds, I may see the output, that is success. If I am not getting output means, what does it mean? That is failure. Will you agree with me? That is nothing but time out second. That is nothing but time out seconds. Now, in the same way, period seconds, every 60 seconds, it is keep on requesting, keep on checking. Hey, are you running? Are you running? Are you running? Same concept where it is there in Linus probe also. There is no difference. There is no difference. But in the output, in the application wise, we will try to understand. Save it. I am going to kubectl. QCTL, apply, you know, apply, QCTL, apply, iPhone here. Now check it, QCTL, get pods, I am going, get pods, get pods. Generally, if you create any pod, there one by one automatically you may get it. Are you agree with me? Here it is running means generally you may get it one by one. Yes or no? Tell me anyone. Yes. Yes, but here why it is zero only after 80 seconds only nearly it will take 80 seconds. Why it is taking 80 seconds initial that is min ready seconds is 15. Time out seconds is what? Time out seconds is 5 and requesting right? Keep on requesting for 60 seconds. 60 plus 15, 75 plus 5, 80 seconds it will take nearly. Now we check it. QCTL get pods at how many seconds it may go for how many seconds it may go for even 58 seconds are over not at one by one even check it when it is getting one now see after 64 seconds why after 64 seconds first it is requesting and response getting we given five seconds for response See, I may given one time for you. Within five minutes, you must come. You may come at 0th minute. You may come at first minute. You may come at last minute also. That is also possible, right? Yes. See, once SAR is entered into the class, many, many students will come automatically. Some students will, will be there. They may come at the end of the session. They may enter into at the end. In the same way, Finally, it took how many seconds? After 64 seconds only, 
it is one by one. Now we need to check application is running or not. How can I check? Anyone tell me? Now tell me the command. First kubectl get svc. See the service name. What is the name of the service? RP. Uh, now how to get it? Srinathgar? How how can I how can I run this application? Mini cube. Mini cube service. What is the name of that service name? RP. Enter it. See now it application is running or not? Check it. Uh, what is the path here? I said somewhere. A HTTP get I HTTP get is having path and port, right? What is the path? Quickly tell me anyone. Java hyphen web hyphen app. You know this path. Is it running or not? Yes, it is running. Everything is fine. This is the common nature. But what I am trying to do, what I am trying to do, willingly I am doing something. Wantedly, I am doing something. There you go for CD. What is that? Kubernetes, right? K U P R. Now, see what I am trying to do in the sense kubectl, kubectl, k u b e c t l, get pods. Check it. My Java web app pod is running. Pod is running good, but I am trying to enter into this pod. Quickly tell me anyone kubectl. EXCC hyphen IT. What is that after that? Is that part name? Part name. name. Ah, after part name, quickly respond. I'm asking to Madhuvan Garu. Please respond. Next two more things we need to provide. What are those? There you need to provide hyphen hyphen. After that, slash B. Slash bin right. slash bash. Now check it. Am I connected into that container? Container. I entered into the container. See, yes. within the container, ls hyphen l. Now check it somewhere. Web apps on folder is there. Check it and tell me. Web apps on folder is available or not? See, see somewhere. Web apps. Now what I am trying to do, cd web apps. In real time, in real time, I enter into web apps or not? Check it and tell me. There, CLS first. CLS. Oh, I am in container, right? I am in container. Now check it. LS hyphen L. Or I go for CLER. Clear is working. Yes. LS hyphen L. Everybody observe. Srinath Garu, where file? You know, right? Java yes. web applications, Java web applications having with yeah. where. Now what I am trying to do, RM, iPhone RF, Java, maybe stop. Now LS hyphen L. How many folders I got deleted? Quickly respond. One file as well as I think both are files or not. One directory, one folder, mm. both got deleted. Yes. Everybody yes. are observing. My mother only respond here because of very, very important thing. Are you agree with me? Two, one folder yes. got deleted, one file got deleted. See, after doing this, you need to go and check it. Your application is running or not. That is our duty. Where is our application? Our application. See, application browser somewhere. Now, now check it. Refreshing. Ma. I'm refreshing. Everybody observing. 404 error. I think many people know. What is the meaning of 404 error? You even try to tell me the answer. Whenever if I get 404, what does it mean? Page not found error. Page not found error. Such resource is not available. Such Java web app related web content is not available. Is it clear for you? Your, your answer should be page not found error. You got it? You may ask me. Okay, page not found. We are very happy. Now, I am opening Windows KR one more. CMD. CMD. Try to understand. CMD. There I am going to check kubectl. kubectl. Get. Get. End points. End points. RP. Why I am giving RP Srinathgaru? 
say till now end point is there or not yes now after 60 seconds only it will go and interact with our readiness i'm keep on giving like this what happens observe i'm keep on giving like this at at one point of time at one point of time end point may remove you may not get end points i may go for cls up arrow First, we need to check Linus probe is activated or not first. Why I am telling like that? Maybe if we are keep on talking, right? It may be, I will go for refresh. If the refresh is not getting means, till now Linus is not activated. Now see, Srinathgar, are understanding or not? Check it and tell me. End yes. point is what? Yeah. Remote, right? Remote, yes. Up to this, which is working, readiness probe only working. Yes. Hereafter, hereafter, who will activate, Live. who will work? Liveness probe. Live. Now wait for again 60 more, uh, 80 more seconds. We need to wait for, here first we need to get end point. Once you got end point, automatically what it will do? Those two folder, you will get it. Those two folders, you will get it. This will happen after at least 60 seconds minimum, maximum 80 seconds. If you practice only, you can feel it 100%. Yeah, I got it right. Now, really, I got it or not? Now, after getting after even IP also changed or not same IP? At least check it and tell me. IP same. changed, I think. Actually, it needs to change. Yeah, I think yes. not right. 0 0.79. Here also what it is. Here also what it is. 0 0.7. 10 dot 244. Here also check it. Maybe it didn't change because of because of pod is not removed. Only container restarted. Our understanding, Srinath Garu. Only container yeah, restart. Yeah. Pod IP, container IP must be same, right? That's why it is taking same. Hmm. Now what I am trying to do, I need to refresh my application. This is the greatness. I think you know somewhere you heard, you hear the word auto, auto healing. This is the auto healing. Got it or not? Automatically, yes. everything is rectified, right? Is it clear for you? This is the main power of main power of what is the probes one is the readiness probe second one is the liveness probe Live. liveness probe is restarting the container readiness probe is removing endpoints from the endpoints removing endpoints from the service endpoints in the sense pod ips are nothing but endpoints pod ips are nothing but endpoints in one interview they asked how can i view only endpoints this is the command Cube city will get endpoints RP. Only specific end. We can see endpoints some other way. What is the way? Quickly respond. Cube CTL get SVC. Cube CTL describe. Describe. Describe SVC. What is the name of the service? RP. Here we can see endpoints observe. Here endpoints are there or not? How many endpoints are there? Only one endpoint. I want two more endpoints. Anyone can guide me. How can I add two more endpoints? You need to tell. How can I add two more endpoints? How can I add two more endpoints? First, I need to open pod. I need to open pod. I need to increase replicas, right? Replicas. And now, cube notepad. They are CLS, CLS, Notepad, Liveness, Live, oh, I, mean, I didn't, CD, KUPA. And now see Notepad, 
layer. There I am going to add two more, two more. Just this is the replica set, right? Yes. Now save it and just again apply. Cube CTL apply. Cube CTL apply. K U B E C T L apply. I open here. Now I am going to open describe it. Describe part first we go for cube CTL or describe where is that path? Cube CTL. Hello. Describe, tell me. D S A R I B describe S V C right there R P. Till now only one is there. Why till now only one? Again readiness probe is there. Srinath Garo. Again readiness probe is there. It may take again 80 seconds. At the time of learning, that's why people may not use liveness and readiness. Why? They keep on killing the time. Now CLS. Our aim is after 80 seconds only, we need to see two more, two more IP addresses at end points. See, one more, you got it right. See, now two is visible. I, I specified two or three there. I specified two, two, only. two only, right? Two only. Okay, two. Yes. That's why it is showing two only. Even I may give endpoints command. Please observe CLS kubectl kubectl get endpoints kubectl get endpoints. What is that RP? Now see how many endpoints are there. Endpoint one, endpoint two. See service is discovering this is the pod one in the same way pod. Now service is going to communicate. That means it is providing network profit to whom? These two pod. That is the meaning of this. See this is keep on running 13 minutes, right? That means pod may not destroy it which is only destroying container only destroying recreating container concept is clear i think anybody facing any difficulty in liveness probe and readiness probe simple answer is when when do we go for liveness and readiness probe health check of an application don't tell health check of a pod only we are checking the health of an application if if application is something going wrong it is remove endpoints it is removed endpoints from the service. If that is removed, maybe liveness probe will activate. What it will do? It will restart your container. It will restart your container. After maybe 60 or 80 more seconds, we need to wait. That is auto healing will happen. This is not auto scaling. This is what? Auto healing. Okay. Shall we go for the concept of auto scaling? Next concept. I am moving to auto scaling feature auto scaling feature if you want to work with auto scaling feature if you want to work with auto scaling feature where i am going to paint wait see now i am going to take the new concept the concept name is hp i think everybody know hp means horizontal pod auto scaler auto everybody scaling. know right horizontal pods. What is the advantage of HPA? Assume this is one pod got created. One pod with the same resource, we need to create one more pod. That is the power of HPA. What is the advantage here? Suppose thousand, suppose thousand users are interact with this pod. This is the thousand. Again, one more pod means maybe one more thousand people may communicate. Like that, if if requests are increasing, automatically it may create one more. If requestings are decreasing, automatically, simply we can say load the word. Load balance, right? If load increases, if load increases, INCR, yes, yes. Load increases, it may create, it may create one more part. I am asking questions. How can I, how can we know load increases or not? Anyone can quickly respond. 
on which basis we can tell load is increased or not two factors you need to tell what are those two factors anyone can guess it anyone number one is ram number two is cpu are you agree with me if cpu utilization if cpu utilization is more than 80 percent what does it mean if cpu utilization more than 80 percent means button is increases right are you agree with me yes. if ram usage is also more and more what does it mean See, if RAM usage is increases, first application goes down. Please understand everybody. Application may not work. You may ask, if CPU usage is more, what happens? Performance will be goes down. What difference is understanding or not? RAM yes. RAM utilization is increases, which may not work. Application may not work. If CPU utilization is increases, what may not work? Performance goes down. Here keep on running, 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 running. Slow, slow performance. Slow performance happen by CPU. Sometimes application may not view because of beyond the RAM. Beyond the RAM means, see, our application requires 4 GB. Your RAM is only 3 GB. How it will work? It may not work, right? Why it may not work? Insufficient memory. Are you agree with me? Insufficient memory means yes. see T cost is 10 rupees. I'm having only 4 rupees. How can it buy the T? May not possible, right? I won't go and ask only give me T, T for 4 rupees. They may laugh. Maybe some people may think some other way. We never go to T star. Same concept. Same concept. If I am having 100 rupee note, though, there is no problem, right? I am giving 100 rupee. Uh, they may take only 10 rupees, 90 they may return. Same concept here also. More memory, good, good, uh, good performance sense, application will work properly. If less CPU, less CPU means, less CPU means, CPU may not having at the time, performance may be goes down. Now simply I am going to HP. Here one more criteria you need to. How can I know? Each node using how much memory, how much CPU. Simply, I am going to here observe kubectl top nodes. Observe my CPU here. How many how how many millicore it is using? M means millicore. M means two eighty nine millicore. How many millicore is equal to one core? Please respond. How many millicore is equal to one core? Very simple. How many grams equal to one cage? One kg? Same answer here also. Thousand grams. Uh, thousand grams is equal to one kg. One kg. Kishore, never forget, right? One core CP is equal to thousand millicore. Thousand millicore. Thousand is it clear for you? Yes, sir. If you remove M. 289 core CP, this is the meaning of M is there means millicore, M is not there means one core, one core means here 289 core. Really, if you want to use 289 core, you need to pay per hour, maybe at least 500 rupees per hour in real time. You see, so. see here also course is there, right? CPU course, they given heading CPU course, which course? Millicores. How much percentage total CPU used? 2% only used. 2% only used. Now memory check it. One. See, more than 1 GB, nearly, nearly 2 GB. Nearly 2 GB. Are you agree with me? 1024 is nothing but 1 GB. 1024. Here nearly used. 17 okay. plus means nearly 1800 means 1 point. 1. 1. Uh, 1, more than 1.5 GB. See, it is showing CP memory uses 22 percent means more, right? Compared within 100 percent, 22 means okay, no problem. Is it clear for you? Till now, is it okay for you? 
Now I'm going to the concept of HPA. When do we use HPA concept? When do we use HPA concept? For this you want to understand means what I am trying to do. I am going to just there Kubernetes documentation. Kubernetes documentation. Click on here. There HPA. HPA Kubernetes. There what is the word? Horizontal pod auto scaling is there. Horizontal pod auto scaling is there. Maybe I may click on first one. You may check it. Really the document is right one or not. See here part 1, part 2, part n. There RC means you know. What is the meaning of RC? Anyone quickly respond? RC means replication controller. Replication controller or they took deployment. Deployment yes. object. Deployment object. What is the duty of RC and deployment? They may scale, right? They may scale. Scaling means increasing the parts. This is the horizontal pod auto scaler. See, horizontal pod auto scaler controls the scale of a deployment and its replica set. Okay, these things you can easily understand. You read it. If any doubt is that, try to ask. No, they are giving some commands. We need to use that one. That is my intention. I think that this document is not the right document. There are a gentle. Yeah, please observe horizontal pod auto scaler. This one only we used. Yeah, PHP. Now this is the right document. Now this is the right document. Now see here, mini cube add on enable. Suppose in our system metric server is not working. Metric server means please observe once again kubectl top nodes. Am I getting right? In the same way, kubectl top parts, top parts, and every resource, how much CPU used, how much memory used. Once again, I am telling, if in your system metric server is not working, we can't apply which concept? We can't apply HPA. Why Srinathgar, we can't apply? Based on the CPU utilization only, it may increase one more part. It may decrease one more part. Got the clarity? Right. First, what is your duty? You need to you need to run kubectl top nodes and pods. If it is not working, you can't apply. Now, quickly, what I am trying to do, observe. What I am trying to do. This one, I am going. Maybe copy paste. Right. This is the same statement. This is the statement. I am running the pod php apache pod control c there i am going to apply control now just enter it now kubectl again get pods get pods one more pod got created are you agree with me see php apache something php apache something good to go one more thing create horizontal pod auto scaler see kubectl auto scale deployment php see what what they are telling cpu percentage 50 percent minimum one part maximum how many parts they are specifying please observe this statement what i am trying to do is control c i may not use 50 percent i may go for i may go for maybe 20 percent 20% is easy to manage, right? Srinathgar, are understanding? If CPU utilization yeah. increases more than 20%, what will you do? For learning purpose, mm -hmm. I am using real time. Everybody understand this. If you are working in real time, you need to tell how much percentage. If CPU yeah. percentage is more than 80, then only you can go for one more part. This is the answer, industry answer. Don't tell 20%. Don't tell 50%. Only if 80% exceeds, then only you, you can go for one more part. But anyway, for learning purpose, what I am using? 20%. Enter. 
good now i am creating 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 horizontal pod auto scaler kubectl deployment where is that statement increase the load that already did kubectl run hyphen i their hpa got created or not check it hpa got create kubectl get kubectl kubectl get parts tell me first yes in the same way kubectl get hpa hpa see hpa got created or not till now see minimum parts how many one maximum parts how many ten till now how many replicas are there only one replica you may wait for one hour also how many replicas will display only one replica why is there other only one replica how much percentage till now i used here actually i said 20 zero. only zero percent yeah. uses is there any requesting yes. happening for our application anyone respond till now anyone is requesting for our application no we will tell we need to advertise hey my so and so application is there please try to ping me please try to run it how to run that one we need to understand how to run that one see i need to go for command i need to increase the load see for increasing the load i need to create i think many many times i use a busy box right have you understood many times i use a busy box maybe in docker also i use a busy box yes or no busy box this is just this is just one unix this is one unix i am going to apply this control c control c there i may go and apply it control v it just enter it what happens check it it is running right what happened yes see now see these many requests are keep on going are you understanding or not is it clear for you till now see these are the customers each ok means minimum 500 mb minimum 300 mb memory usage is increasing now you may ask how do i run how do i run kubectl once again kubectl where is that cursor now cls now kubectl kubectl where is the where is the hpa kubectl kubectl hpa get hpa hpa hyphen double see i use 20 only see srinathgaru how much percentage i am using more than 113 and keep on requesting happen right yes now see here yes now four replicas are created now quickly going to seven replicas it may go up to 10 after that may crash may crash in the sense may not go beyond may not go beyond here requests are going and requests are going and going and going we need to see first there i may go and stop after that In existing batches, I didn't show properly. Only this batch only, I am giving clarity here. In existing batches, we applied application only. We, uh, uh, we, we feel that, okay, it may happen like that. We are not like that. We are seeing clearly. Here, there hyphen W means watch. Try to understand. What is the meaning of that W? That this W represents watch. In Git Bash, you need to give W A T C H, but in Windows, you need to give W means watch. That's it, is keep on going. Okay, okay. You need to check. Yeah, going. In Linux, in Git Bash, on every two milliseconds, 
screen will refresh but here see something changed then only it will go and refresh it there are some 65 to 40 percent yes see this is the average cpu utilization try to understand what is the cpu utilization average cpu utilization now reach it right is it reached or not yes yeah, reach, reach. it won't it won't exceed we'll check it it may exceed or not you know right min we told one max we told 10 only how can I increase? We can't increase. See, here, here municipality in Tirupati want to construct multi-stored building. How many floors you may construct? Assume seven floors. Assumption I am giving. Will you cons if you construct more than seven means what they will do? They will come and demolish, right? See, according to my view, I am telling. They want to demolish only first floor. They never then they no need to de demolish remaining floors, right? Simply total building will collapse here also same thing what i am trying to do you need to check it may reduce or not control c here control c i stopped here you know right i stopped this once if i stop at this what happens you need to check cpu utilization automatically decreases or increases i stopped the requesting Tomorrow we may go for the new concept that is the config map and secret. Config map and secret. Once both are finished, we may go for ingress concept. Ingress concept. See, they are trying to understand CPU utilization is reducing or increasing. See the chart. See the chart and tell me. Reducing. 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 Once, once it is reducing, reducing, may replicas may decrease replicas may decrease but we need to wait some more time in question how they are asking in the sense in kubernetes you want to apply auto scaling feature auto scaling feature which type of resource is needed which type of service is needed your answer should be hpa hpa means horizontal pod auto scaler see even zero percent after zero only maybe we may go for we may go for reduction it is taking minimum one or two minutes for utilization decreasing but in real time two types of scalings are there can you guess it according to kubernetes two types of scalings one is hpa what is the second one cluster auto scaling srinath Gare, have you heard that word on my side cluster yes. auto scaling what is the meaning of cluster auto scaling you at least you try to respond your way you know pod auto scaling here is hpa what does it mean about cluster auto scaling see you know nodes are there right node 1 node 2 node 3 assume each node is the capacity of 5 5 pods assume each node capacity 5 pods first node 5 okay over second node 5 over third node 5 15 is good what about suppose 16th pod is created assume there i mention 1 to 20 min is 1 max is 20 i specified i am having only three nodes according to our scenario system wants to create one more node right are you agree with me yes sir my scenario each node capability is five parts three nodes are there 15 parts only will create what i specified max maximum parts 20 if 20 means 16th one will create or will not create needs to create if needs to create first it will go and create one more node 
that node creation is nothing but cluster auto scaling this pod creation is nothing but pod auto scaling at least you got the concept got the clarity if you want to work with cluster auto scaling minikube not supports the data desktop will not support only eks only eks will support is it clear for you maybe it may take time and it may reduce it may take time and it may reduce okay now everybody got the clarity about this yes or no this is what about hpa first quickly i am going to show show you the hpa hpa what is that that manifest file you try to understand hpa manifest file where is that here is here yeah, three to four points you need to remember this three to four points where is that hpa code You need to see the HPA code or else I may go with my document also having right my document also having there I am showing you their CLS their notepad notepad HPA where is that notepad spelling correct only right H horizontal pod now you need to understand only three to four points see from here hereafter you need to uh, containers okay that this is not this is not required you go for only hpa related stuff now see here in this is the new service right horizontal pod auto scaler this is very new one uh, see the api version everybody understand till now you know versions how many versions you know v1 you know are you agree with me yes or no APPS app slash yes. v1 that is also you know right till now you know yes now this is the new one what is the new one auto scaling slash v2 auto scaling slash v2 this is the new version good see within the spec within the specification scale target reference scale target reference how many targets you want it you need to specify ap version app slash v1 kind is deployment name is something this is the min replicas how many max replicas how many. here there we have seen right one and ten here only we specify is it clear for you till now now metrics what is the type resource here resource is name is cpu here based on which based on memory or based on cpu we are we are working with this only based on cpu based on cpu utilization only we are going to create one more part based on cpu utilization only we are going to see type is utilization target type is average utilization average means see one part uses 80 percent another part uses 40 percent 80 plus 40 120 120 by 2 60 only like that we can count it if 60 means more than 50 right according to this scenario it may go and create one more part is it clear for you yes or no tell me is there any difficulty the remaining is not necessary not necessary status of what is that observed generation this is additional stuff this no need to check out only main thing is this thing you need to remember you need to memorize also you need to mark up if you want to attend if you want to attend five plus years of kubernetes experience if one plus means just you need to tell oh horizontal part auto scalar one service is there that you need to specify metrics in metrics their average cp utilization is 50 percent you need to specify a uh, scale target reference within that you need to specify minimum replicas how many max replicas you need to tell that they may accept it i hope you got the clarity about hpa yes or no this is new service today we understood horizontal pod auto scaler horizontal pod auto scaler now tomorrow tomorrow we may go for what i said we need to we need to work with two two resources the one is one is secret secret second one is con 
config map config map maybe i may give briefing here if you want to maintain sense to data sense to sense to data you may go for secret if you want to maintain plain text plain text plain text you may go for config map maybe one more thing if you want to act like a volume also you need to go with config map both answers are available one is for maintaining plain text in the form of key value another one is you need to maintain volume means what you know right volume means what is the use of volumes volumes are mounts it can store small amount of data just like a backup just like a backup is it clear for you tomorrow we'll see what is secret what is config map what is secret what is you know four sections and any resource in any kubernetes files four sections quickly tell me what are the four sections first one second one third one fourth one quickly tell me the four sections what is the first section apa version are you agree with me what is the second one kishore kind what is the third kind. one meta data what is the fourth one spec why i am giving these things in the sense if you come to secret and config only first three are having fourth one may not be there you may ask if fourth one is not there what it may there fourth one is nothing but data fourth one is nothing but data section data section ep version is there kind is there metadata is there there is no spec what it may be there only data block data section is there i hope ppt is clear i may wind the session and i may connect tomorrow tomorrow morning once again what is the concept kubernetes only right morning 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 okay. kate is evening terraform actually yes. but yes. morning not at finish that's, that's why i continued the concept tomorrow morning as usual kubernetes evening as usual terraform concept thank you not tomorrow you consult my possible madhavani tomorrow you try to install everything you try to from tomorrow we need to practice okay okay thank you